Hello, my name is Sarah Ott and I'm the Aspen City Manager. The City of Aspen has been working alongside community partners for over 30 years to evaluate the best transportation options for getting in and out of the City of Aspen. This effort is known as the Entrance to Aspen. Recently, community conversation about the Entrance to Aspen has been picking up. This is namely because the Castle Creek Bridge is nearing the end of its design life. We need to start planning for a new bridge, now. Together, our community can build a better transportation future for Aspen. That's why I want your participation in this community conversation. This video will tell you the history of those planning efforts, the progress we've made to today, and where we can go in the future. Back in the mid-1990s, Aspen spearheaded a massive, multi-year community engagement process to develop a highway and mass transit system to better access Aspen. The process included participation from a resident and technical advisory committee and dozens of meetings up and down the valley. The city of Aspen worked tirelessly with the community and Pitkin County, town of Snowmass Village, elected officials transportation committee, EOTC, the Colorado Department of Transportation, CDOT, and the Federal Highway Administration to define a collaborative solution. To help guide this process, 10 objectives were identified as needs to be met to improve Aspen's transportation network. After carefully analyzing 43 possible solutions, CDOT and FHWA selected the one that met the project purpose and need as well as all 10 objectives defined by the community. This solution, known as the Preferred Alternative, was included as part of an official document called the Record of Decision that was completed in 1998. The improvements and changes outlined in the Record of Decision modernized key transportation infrastructure elements from Buttermilk to Ruby Park. While some recommendations were implemented, others are in the queue. One of the major pieces of the Record of Decision to be completed is the way traffic moves in and out of Aspen. This aspect of the plan includes a realignment of Highway 82 for general traffic that, by design, allows vehicles a smoother entry into town so there is less reliance on side streets, like Power Plant Road, which affects traffic in the West End. The preferred alternative approved by CDOT in the 1990s extends Main Street to the west over a new Castle Creek Bridge to connect to Highway 82, as it exists now, at the roundabout. The roadway will consist of two general purpose lanes, one in each direction, as well as an exclusive lane for mass transit. This will create a continuous route from the airport all the way into town to better accommodate mass transit systems that provide a car-free option for commuters. The mass transit lane will be designed to accommodate cutting-edge transportation technology like trackless trams, driverless buses, or a light rail. It is worth noting that every phase of this plan meets the highest environmental and air quality regulations to reduce environmental impact ensuring that Aspen stays clean and beautiful. New connected open space will be created between the roundabout and cemetery lane where the highway used to be, and a new land bridge will connect the roundabout to Main Street and minimize the impact on the surrounding landscapes and ecosystems, creating a new wildlife corridor to keep animals safe. Expanding our transportation network is important, even more so is a path for exiting Aspen quickly and safely, especially in an emergency. Due to climate change, our community faces a rising danger from forest fires and mudslides. Because of the increase in natural disaster activity, we need to prioritize evacuation routes in Aspen. The current S-curve does not meet this need. The preferred alternative, however, will increase the capacity and improve safety. Right now, we're in a good position to evaluate the next steps for the entrance to Aspen. Our current Castle Creek Bridge is aging. It was built 62 years ago and needs to be replaced soon for everyone's safety. We're going to take this opportunity to create a safer, more sustainable, and resilient transportation ecosystem. Time is of the essence. Let's get serious about replacing our bridge and working with our partners to implement a solution to keep our community safe and our transportation system relevant. 
For more information about the history of this project and its future, as well as how you can stay involved, visit castlecreekbridge.com.